You may have heard of the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. This is a concept that has wide applications in finance, businesses, productivity, sports, time management, and even relationships. And we can leverage the principle to lead more effective and productive lives. In this video, we'll be taking a look at what the Pareto Principle is and how we can use it. Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Rosie Batchel. I'm a board certified cardiologist and welcome to my channel where I talk about all things personal development. Before we begin, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel below and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I come back with another video. So what is the Pareto Principle? The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, is the belief that 80% of all consequences come from just 20% of the efforts. Other names for the Pareto Principle include the Law of the Vital Few and the Principle of Factor Sparsicity. This principle reminds us that not every action or cause is equal to the others. Essentially, things are not distributed evenly. Some actions and efforts generally have much bigger effects than other actions. And understanding this concept can have impact in many facets of our lives, including work, productivity, health, wellness, and so forth. For example, you might have numerous apps on your iPhone, but 80% of your value from these apps is probably derived from 20% of those apps. Let's say you have 30 friends, but you probably get 80% of your socialization from just five or six of them. I have many pairs of jeans, but I wear probably two or three of them over and over. In a broader example, 80% of the wealth in the world is owned by just a small fraction of the world population. The Pareto Principle doesn't necessarily dictate that it has to be exactly 80-20. It's sort of just a rough estimate indicating that the majority of the results come from a few sources. It means that a certain fewer inputs can lead to much greater outputs. So where did the concept originate? Well, the Pareto Principle was named after the Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto, who pointed out that 80% of Italy's land was owned by just 20% of the population in the late 19th century. He also noticed that 80% of the fruit in his garden came from 20% of the plants. Eventually, many researchers started to apply the Pareto Principle in their studies, and many companies started to use it to strategize and find new solutions for their problems. Though the phenomenon originated with Pareto, the term was actually coined by Dr. Joseph Duran, a business theorist who noted that Pareto's observations had impactful applications in business and operations, noting that we should focus on the vital few and ignore the trivial many. So how can the Pareto Principle help us? At its core, the Pareto Principle is meant to point out something. It's not directly going to fix a problem. However, once it helps us identify a problem, it gives us an idea of what we need to fix. For example, Microsoft once decided to focus on fixing just the top 20% of the most reported computer bugs that Windows customers were dealing with. As a result, complaints from customers dropped by over 80%. It not only dropped the number of complaints, but it made their software more secure as a whole as well. The Pareto Principle has many applications in business. It's generally believed that a company will gain more from just 20% of their customers than they would from the remaining 80%. That 20% is extremely important for the business to survive. Additionally, 20% of a business's staff may contribute to 80% of the productivity. The Pareto Principle essentially helps us to prioritize more productive inputs. The 20% that is actually bringing the most productivity to your business is crucial. Also, the 20% most valuable customers, you wanna make sure they keep coming back over and over again. You could also apply the Pareto Principle to look for problems, whether these are problems in your daily life or problems in your business or work. Getting rid of the 20% that causes you the most number of problems would be a great way to fix the vast majority of what's wrong. But arguably, the most important way that this principle actually helps us is by saving our time and money. If we already have a scarcity of resources, we want to make sure that we actually spend those resources on things that matter. Time is a valuable, non-renewable resource, and leveraging the Pareto Principle can help us focus on what's actually important and minimize the time waste. So how can you use the Pareto Principle on a daily basis? The main purpose of the Pareto Principle is to help you to do more with less and to help focus your efforts. With this, you need to start prioritizing certain tasks over others and get rid of some of the more useless things you do every day. Helping you prioritize is one of the main advantages of this principle. 
You need to identify those 20% of actions that are leading to positive results and impact and start focusing more energy and time and optimizing these. Number one, do a time and task audit to find your 20%. Use the Pareto principle to prioritize. So take a look at your entire to-do or task list for a particular day or particular week. Identify which of those tasks are high impact or high value and prioritize these. What activities are taking most of your time and energy in your day and which ones are the greatest payoff for your time? What are your main or high priority goals? If you keep a planner or agenda, sometimes it becomes easier to visualize where your time and energy is actually being consumed. Cut out the activities that are low yield or can be outsourced or delegated. Essentially, cut out the fluff. Your to-do list should be weighted by priority and value. Number two, outsource the 80%. Have you ever worked all day but then felt like you didn't accomplish anything at the end of the day? Generally, that's because you've been focusing on the low priority 80% tasks. These other low priority tasks can often be allocated less energy or delegated or eliminated altogether, depending upon the task. Many repetitive items like bills and payments can be automated, for example. This will free up more time and energy for you to focus on the impactful 20%. Ask yourself at the start of each task whether it falls into the top 20% or the bottom 80%. Try to complete the challenging, high priority, complex, high ROI items first. Number three, create Pareto charts. These are most commonly used in business, but the concept can really be used in any dimension of your life. The y-axis of this chart typically shows the frequency of currents, while the x-axis shows the overall input. It's often considered one of the seven basic tools of quality control. These charts can help you understand a situation and give you a bird's eye view of your resources and where they are going. And ultimately, it helps you focus your efforts on the areas that matter the most. At the end of the day, the 80-20 rule can help guide you and point you to the actions which are creating the most impact and to cut out the fluff. Leveraging it can help us lead more productive and optimized lives, and it can help us more effectively distribute our time, energy, and resources. It can optimize our productivity, our leadership skills, and our efficiency. And that's a wrap for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the 80-20 rule and how you use it. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.